Hola mis serenitas, welcome to my channel. It's your girl Chiquita Serenita and today we're doing a review tutorial and swatches of Too Faces. We have two palettes here you guys. We have the That's My Jam and we have the Let's Play palette, right? I have one on each eye you guys, okay? We're doubling up on palettes today because I have to get through these. I still have two more of these little tiny ones that I have to do and I'm like dude, I'm not going to do separate videos because if I do separate videos, I'm never going to get through these damn balance. <laughs> so that's my jam is on this eye right here. It's a very pretty palette. And then you have Let's Play over here. So yeah, you guys, I just want to explain something real quick. And when you see get to my tutorial, because I usually do tutorials at the end of my videos. If you've watched me a couple times, you guys already know how this goes. But I didn't have one of my lights on. So when you start the beginning of the tutorial and you see me showing you the colors and applying transition shades and all that stuff, it's going to be somewhat dark. It's not, you're not going to see a whole bunch of like, obviously you can see my face and all that stuff. I don't think that's going to be the problem. I just think the problem is going to be, you're not going to be as like brilliant as you see it right now. And right now you see everything bright and bold in your face, you know, um, that one's going to be a little bit simmered down. <laughs> It's when I give you guys a close up before I give you guys a close up. That's when I noticed and I clicked it on. So you guys are gonna see the look as it is normally. You know, it's a very pretty look. Both of them came out super pretty. I really, really love the looks how they came out. Like, oh god. Now, if this is your guys' first time to my channel, hi, my name is Sarah. I like to do reviews on palettes. Um, sometimes I do tutorials and we swatch everything here, okay? If there's um, lip products, we swatch every single lip product. If there's blushes, I swatch the blushes. Pretty much everything. If it's a 30 pan palette, we're swatching every single thing in that thing, okay? we doing it. <laughs> the videos take a little longer given because I do live swatches, but you know, my subscribers for the most part, they don't seem to mind it, so I don't really care. You know, majority rules here. But I do um, do Spanish and English videos, so just be aware the English videos go out first. A couple hours later, I release the Spanish. I just don't want no confusion because people will seem to think that I only make one video in one language. And no, that video will have two languages to it. So I don't want there to be no more confusion. <laughs> If you're not subscribed to my channel, please consider subscribing. It would help me out a lot. And if you already are subscribed, welcome back, you guys. So I'm going to start with this one right here. That's my jam. That's the one you see on this eye. I just want to say a couple of things that I do mention at the end of the video also. But I just want to make a real quick suggestion to you guys. If you guys buy this palette, it's a very, very pretty palette. Don't get me wrong. But the shimmers in here, at least three of them that I use today are what I consider to be wildfire shimmers because I'm starting to call them that already. <laughs> They're basically the type of shimmers that once you apply them on it, they tend to flake off. And once they flake off, if you try to clean it with your finger, it'll make it worse and spread like wildfire on your face. So if you're the type of person who does their eyes first, you will have no absolutely no problems with this palette. I'm talking for the those of us who are like me who tend to do everything first and your eyes last <laughs> and then you have all these little specks of shimmer all over your face that you just can't get rid of. For the most part, everything in here is very pretty. I love the tones in here. I had no problems. I can see myself using every single color in here. It's a very pretty cute palette. Honestly, the lightest shade, even the lightest shade I can see myself using. That's why I said I love the tones in here. Now, the ones that gave me the problems where was... um. This one right here and my inner corner highlight, that one is called uh, Pick Up Limes. That one gave me a problem. So did the pink one as my overall lid shade. That one is called Jam Session. And then I use this one, the purple one that's called F um, Violet Flames. Now, Violet Flames, I applied it down here. It's super, oh God, it's such a beautiful purple. That one didn't give me as much problem as much as the pink did because the pink sort of like flaked off right here. And I was like, look, I can still see little pink flecks everywhere. But the worst one, the worst offender was that inner corner highlight, the one that's called Pick Up Limes right there. Oh God. It's such a beautiful, it looks like honestly a gold with green reflect duochrome almost, but it is so flakish. <laughs> it just falls off and it spreads like wildfire. And you're like, what the hell, man? <laughs> so I'm going to start with the swatches for this one and then I'll move on to the next palette, which that one kind of 
didn't give me any problems, but I do want to talk about it a little bit more. Okay, so we're going to start with this one right here. And this one is called Spread It. It is a matte uh, pink. Like, I could totally see myself using this one because I feel like the pink is dark enough pink for me. And I can still use it as a transition shade. Look at that. Oh, God, see that? That's such a beautiful pink. I would use that one way more. If it was, like, lighter pink, like the one that's in this palette right here, the Let's Play palette, they have a light, light pink, like super light pink. I could never see myself using that one. This one, hell yeah, I could see that one. Next, we have Grape Soda right here. That is another matte. This is a matte purple. Oh, God, look how beautiful this is. It is like a lavender purple. That is super pretty. Oh, my God. Look at that. I love it. I love it. Honestly, it kind of looks like it would be a little bit patchy, you guys, but I don't think it's patchy. I just think it's my hairs in there. <laughs> my hairs on my arms <laughs> breaking it off. And then you have that one right here that's called Pickup Limes. That's that one that I was telling you guys about. It reminds me a lot of a Super Shock shadow now that I'm swatching it on my arm because the consistency. It's either a foil shimmer and that's why it flakes off so much. Or it's just like this sheer um, shimmer. And it looks a lot like a Duo Chrome um, or a Super Shock shadow from ColourPop. Because it has that sheer undertone to it and it has this gold and green shift to it. It's beautiful. Don't get me wrong. It is super beautiful. When you put it on your eye, like when I was putting it on, I was like, oh, this looks like an alien green gold thing going on. I loved it. It's just once it started flaking off, I was like, honey, mm -mm, I can't deal with you, honey. Not right now. Not like that. And then you have that bright pink there that I used um, over all my lid right here. And it's called Jam Session. This is what you would call, it looks like a shimmer um with glitter in it it's got all these little um gold glitters in there throughout the entire shade it's very pretty in the next row we're going to start with this one right here and i didn't get to use that one today it's called weeby jammin this one looks completely the same as that one like that the one that i was just telling you guys this one right here same thing same exact thing i'm just swatching it right now and it's like a it's, it's a shimmer with foil in it. It's very flaky too. It's like this um, rose brownish gold tone almost. I don't know. It, it looks very flaky just like this. It's got this. This one looks more solid. This one looks more sheer. But still that flakish right there. That wildfire color. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. <laughs> Next we have Violet Flem, Femme or Femme or whatever you want to call it. Flam, Fems. This is that one that I used right here. It's so freaking pretty. It has this um, pink purple shift to it. It looks like um, a shimmer with glitter as well. It does have glitter in it. But it mostly looks like a dual chrome. Like this purple and pink shift. With this tiny bit of either like an iridescent lime color sort of. The in person... It looks super cool. And then next you have um, Toast. Toast is just like this terracotta orange matte. I use this one as my transition shade. And let me tell you that color is freaking beautiful. I loved it. I had no problems with it either. Look at that. That richness. Lastly, we have Jam on it. This one is a matte. It's like a maroon brown with this hint of purple. I will tell you guys that this one feels super dry to the touch when you're trying to swatch it. It is short, showing up a tiny bit of patchy right here on the sides. But other than that, I don't think it'll give you guys any problems. At least I didn't experience any problems with it. But I'm just letting you guys know just in case. And those are the shades in that first, um, that's my jam palette. And real quick, before I move on to the next palette, this is how the case comes. It's a metal case, super cute. It's called On The Fly Eyeshadow Palette. And the back is super cute as well. Like, Too Faced is plus, look at this is the, the actual packaging, the cardboard packaging that it comes in. Too Faced is like 
up there with ColourPop, the way they um, wrap their stuff up. It's so cute. It says, don't be jelly. This palette of sexy, cool shades is inspired by fresh picked berries. And we have, and we'll have you saying, oh, hot damn, that's my jam. <laughs> Next we have the Let's Play palette. This is the cardboard packaging that it comes in. Same thing. Pretty much it says it smells like bubble gum. I know they're supposed to smell like them. I didn't smell the Let's My Jam. It's supposed to smell like everything too. Oh yeah, it does. It smells like berries. The the that one smells like berries. This one supposedly smells like bubble gum. That don't smell like no damn bubble gum. I don't know what that sounds like. It doesn't sound like no bubble gum. This one says, level up for sexy playtime with this palette of fully charged shades. They, that are so playful, you'll be saying game on. This one is super cute, you guys. I applied it on this eye. And I love this freaking eye look. Like, oh God. Y'all don't even know. I was like, when I was doing it, I was like, oh my God, this is such a freaking pretty palette. And these are the shade tones in here, you guys. I don't want the lights, but this freaking part is so reflective that it's messing with my lights so, so bad. The shades in here are super cute. The only one I don't see myself ever using is that light shade. And like I've already said in the past, you guys, those light shades don't really work out for me. They tend to like disappear from my eye like that bee just left the building and she didn't come back. So that's why I don't bother with those shades. But every single else one in here are super cute. I love um, Too Faced packaging. Like I said, it's right up there with ColourPop. They always have like the cutest freaking packaging. And their stuff always smells nice. I mean, they think it smells like bubblegum. But to me, it smells like something way different. It does not smell like bubblegum at all. <laughs> I'm going to start with this shade right here in the corner. And we're just going to go across so we get to the end. That first one is called Joystick. That one, I used it as my inner corner highlight. In the tutorial, you guys will hear me say it is a vanilla white color, right? Shimmer. And then when I applied it, I was like, oh, you're not vanilla. You're like a light pastel pink. It's so cute, though. I was really surprised by it because I didn't think it was going to be like that. I was like, oh, no, you are not a vanilla. You are like this pale rose type of pink. And that's how it looks on my arm. Like, that's how pale it is, you guys. It does. You can actually see more pigment on my eye than you can right here on my arm. My arm's not giving it justice to how pretty it looks in person. Then you have multiplayer right here. This one, I used it down here. It is such a beautiful color, too. It's like a mauve berry, almost. I love it. It's a shimmer. This looks like a shimmer with glitter in it. Next, you have 1UP. This is like this peachy tone matte. I could totally see myself using this. It looks more orangey now that I'm applying it. Oh, God, look at that. Look how corally that is. Isn't that such a pretty color, you guys? I love that one. Next, we have Secret Level right here. This looks like a metallic shimmer. But I think right now that I'm looking at it, it's more like a foiled shimmer it's so pretty look at that that is the one that i used right here you guys oh god it is so freaking beautiful in the next row we have that first color that's called easter egg that is that matte super pale pink like oh god i mean it looks pigmented now that i'm swatching it but still like come on i wouldn't use that <laughs> i'm not gonna use that one um, I could totally see someone doing a cut crease and applying that to the cut crease. I could, I could see that. But as far as I, I'm concerned, I don't really like those type of tones. Don't Play Me is my transition shade I used today. It's so pretty. It's like a pinky rose tone. I absolutely love, love this color. Look at that. Oh, God. I love it. Fangirl. I didn't get to use this one today. But it looks like a metallic with um, metallic shimmer with glitter. That's what it looks like. And it's a deep rose. Look at that. Oh, God. Last, you guys, we have cheat code over here. Um, this one feels very drying as well. It's a matte. 
This one kind of looks patchy as well. Probably because it's just a darker tone. It does look patchy somewhat. Not like a huge deal, but it does. And those are the tones to this palette. I don't know. I liked them both. Um, they all have their upside and their downside, basically. But if I had to pick one, I would definitely say you can't go wrong with that with this one. The Let's Play one. The one we just did. This one. You cannot go wrong with it. It's super cute. Of course, if you're a purple lover, then I would highly recommend this one. But like I said, the other ones, you know, even though I did have that flakage from those shades, you could totally go around that. Just do your makeup, you know, um, first your eyes, then the rest of your makeup, you know. That's the only downside to it. But other than that, it's still a, a beautiful palette. So yeah, you guys, look at them. Both of them. They're super cute. Uh, I also have the Kitty Let's Scratch, I think it's called. Kitty Likes to Scratch. And the uh, Light My Fire. So I still have to do those. I'm going to double up on those two because I don't want to have to do two separate videos. <laughs> it would have been four videos. It would be a lot, you guys. A lot. So, yeah, you guys, I'm going to let you guys go. Don't forget that my um, tutorial is going to seem somewhat darker in the beginning. I'm sorry, you guys. I totally didn't even notice one of the lights was off. And then towards the end, is everything's going to be fine. So hopefully that doesn't bother you guys. And if you guys want to see how I created both of these looks today, then just stay tuned. Okay, you guys, so you guys know how I usually do this when I'm doing more than one palette. I am going to use That's My Jam on this eye. And then I'm going to use Let's Play on this eye. And you guys already know, I'll give you guys a close-up once I'm done with both of the looks. Okay, so... I think the first one, what I'm going to start off with, is going to be this orange tone from my transition shade. And I believe it's called, this one is called Toast, okay? So that is the one I'm going to use as my transition shade. So next, you guys, I'm going to use this bold pink right here. I swear I wanted to use that purple, but I was, I think I still plan on using that purple, but I'm going to go in with this one right here. It is a shimmer. It's called Jam Session, and that's the one you guys are going to see me do. I'm pretty much just going to use my finger to pat it on my eye, okay? So the next color, you guys, I'm going to use this dark matte. It looks like a matte maroon, honestly, <laughs> and it's called Jam on it. Um, I'm, I'm just going to apply that right there, right here, and a little bit down here, okay? So that is what you guys are going to see me do. Okay, you guys, so now I'm going to go in with that violet purple one that's called Violet Femmes. It's a shimmer. It's so, so pretty in person, man. I have to use it. <laughs> I'm just going to apply it right here in this inner and then sort of like blending into that dark, you know, brown that's there. That is what I'm going to do. Okay, so next, you guys, I'm going to use Pick Up Limes right here. It's a shimmer. It's very hard to describe that shimmer. I want to say it's like a champagne, lemony type of shimmer. It looks kind of green and champagne at the same time. It's very hard to explain. It's more like on the, I would say definitely like a goldish, but it has those little specks of something that makes it look green in some way. I'm just going to apply that as my inner corner highlight right there, okay? So and that's pretty much it for this eye, you guys. I'm not going to put any eyeliner. I'll do that after I give you guys a close-up, you know, because the eyeliner is mainly my thing. That's what I like to do. So I'm going to start with this eye now right here. And we're going to use the Let's Play palette. Um, I'm going to start with this one right here. This is a super cute pinky matte. And it's called um, Don't Play With Me, okay? So that's what you guys are going to see me do as my transition shade. So for the next color, you guys, I plan on using, I'm going to use this shimmer right here. It's like a very champagne, um, 
brownish goldish shimmer around there it's called a secret level so that is what you guys are going to see me do i'm just going to put like in right here in the middle try to create like a halo look that's what it, that's what i'm going to do you guys <laughs> So for the next color that I'm going to use, I'm going to go in with this one right here in the corner that's called Cheat Code. It is a very um, dark rose pink, almost like a burgundy-ish, like a mauve. Yeah, it's like a perfect mauve. I'm just basically going to put it right here in this corner and this corner and just basically creating that highlight look like I said. So, you guys, I also added that same one that you guys saw me. I was um, adding it down here to about halfway, okay? I just didn't mention it, so I don't want anybody to get confused when they see me like, what is she doing? <laughs> I basically applied it down here too, okay? So, for the next color that I'm going to plan on using, I'm going to use this one right here. It's a shimmer. It is called Multiplayer. It's a super pretty, it's like a mauve tone, um, purple almost. And I'm just going to add it right here, you guys, like I usually do. And then, you know, basically blending into that color that's already there. So that is what I'm going to do. Now for my inner corner highlight, you guys, I'm going to use this one on the top right here in the corner. It is called Joy Stick. I don't know if you guys can see it. <laughs> Hold on, it's right there, this one. It's like a very vanilla white sort of shimmer. It's very, very pretty. Um, that's why I was like, this one's perfect for the inner corner highlight. You know, that's the one I'm going to use because I feel like it would complement the look already. So that's the one I'm going to use, you guys. Oh my God, you guys. I thought this color, the inner corner highlight one, the joystick, was a vanilla white. And it's not. It's like a rosy pink. Dude, you don't know how beautiful that looks in person. Like, oh my God. I don't even think you guys can see it, like see the actual detail. Hopefully you'll see it when I give you guys a close-up right now because as of right now, it's super pretty. So the look is pretty much done already, you guys. I'm just going to put some mascara real quick on this eye and then I'm going to come do you guys like, you know, um, a close-up. I'm going to give you guys a close-up and that's pretty much it for both looks, okay? So these are both of the looks, you guys. Honestly, the colors in here are super pretty. <laughs> I'm very surprised. I love that that inner corner highlight color. It's super pretty in person if you guys would see it. So hopefully, yeah, you guys like it. And then I'll just back you guys out to give you guys my final thoughts on both of these palettes. Okay, you guys, so I'm back. Y'all gonna have to forgive me about the whole lighting situation in the tutorial when the beginning part before I went to the actual like close up. I didn't notice that one of my lights wasn't on. <laughs> That's why it looks so dang dark. But I'm sorry, you guys, hopefully, you know, everything else is good you know i honestly love the looks that i created today i feel like both of them are super pretty the only bad thing i would say about you know not really precisely let's play is 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 a great palette on its own it's it's perfect now i want to talk specifically about this one for a second because this color right here which is that beautiful pickup lime so inner corner highlight it's one of those shades, I'm just going to call them wire filed shades because they're the type of shades that flake off and they spread, right? You try to like wipe some of it off because you notice, okay, I got too much right here. So let me just wipe some of that off. And, and it doesn't matter what the heck you use. You can just wipe it with a wipe and it still, it just spreads. It makes it worse. And then you're all of a sudden you're sparkling all the way up to here and everywhere else. And it's like, oh God, why, why? <laughs> That wasn't the only one that gave me problems. This bright pink right here that's over all my entire lid. That one was called, what was it? That one was Jam Session. This one right here and these two right here. So those are the two ones that I'm just talking about. This one too. It flakes off and it spreads, it spreads like hell. Same thing with that purple one. That purple one is called Violet Fumes. That one also. It spreads, but that one is not as bad as this one right here, the inner corner highlight, that one, the pickup lines is by far the worst one. Now, if you apply these colors on your face before you do your actual base makeup, 100% you'll be fine. This is just for those people who are like me, 
who apply everything before <laughs> and then you do your eyes last and then you're like oh now i'm stuck shining everywhere right <laughs> i'm just letting you guys know as far as this one goes this one is super pretty on its own i'm loving the look that i created especially because i got my little line there my little black line makes me feel like a hundred percent better <laughs> These shades in here, honestly, the only one that I don't see myself ever using is that one light one that's called Easter's Egg. And that's because it's a light, it's a very pale pink. It's a matte. Um, you guys already know and I've seen it. If you guys watched me for a while now, you saw that at one point I have tried light colors on my eye, on my tutorials. And they disappear, you guys. They disappear. It doesn't matter how pigmented that crap is. It'll disappear on my skin. So... That's why I t don't like using them. It's a, it's a waste of my time. It has to be darker pink than that for it to make a difference as a transition shade especially. So that's the only thing I have against it. That one is the only one I don't see myself using. Everything here is perfect for my skin tone, for lighter than me. I'm pretty sure darker skin tones could still use the shimmer. That one, this one, yeah, because it's like a, it's like a bright pink. I still see it right there. Um... This one would probably work for transition shade for someone darker too. Definitely all the shimmers, like I said, the shimmers work. I don't recommend for that for that one, even for myself. So I know for someone darker, it might not work unless they do like a cut crease and then pat it on, you know, then it might work for that. So hopefully this is not a long video. <laughs> I'm sorry, you guys. So I'm pretty much done. Um, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you are notified each and every time I upload a new video. And until next time, stay warm, stay blessed, and stay magical. Bye, you guys.